What is up guys? My name is Travis. We are back here again with another bike build and today we have my 2021 Yamaha YZ250F. Here's what we're going to do. Okay, so here's what we got going on today. We are doing my 2021 YZ250F bike build for the 2021 season here. Um, we're not going full all out with this thing. We had to kind of limit our sources here. We're still in the process of, uh, of building out a powder coating business, which is being more and more successful. Um, however, we're not trying to blow out the budget on this thing. We have lots of other bikes to build, so make sure to hit that subscribe button down there and uh, turn on the notifications with the little bell icon because there will be more bikes coming up. Um, so anyway, what we got on the table here for parts today, we have a complete Polysport plastic kit in the Nardo Gray. Um, we do have graphics that I already put on the number plates, and as you can see here, I'm not the best at doing that. But that's okay, it's just plastic. Um, so anyway, we also have uh, gray and white pleated guts racing seat cover. So pretty excited for that one. This is actually a Velcro on, which none of us have ever used before. So I'm interested to see how that works out. We've got some Works Connection radiator braces that we powder coated gloss black. We have a uh, Renthal blue sprocket stock teeth. It's 50 teeth, but I can't stand the gray thing that's on the bike. We have a... Uh, Factory Connection Racing Spring, I believe it's a 6.0 or a 6.1 uh, spring rate that I custom powder coated in a color that, uh, well, to be completely honest, I thought it was more blue than what it came out, but oh well, no big deal, that's all right. So what we're going to basically do is tear everything off. Now there are a couple things we're still missing. Number one would be handlebars. Um, we do have handlebars ordered, however, we don't have... Uh, they're not here. They're stuck in the port. As everyone knows, 2021 is a mess for shipping. So that kind of sucks. Um, the other thing I am in the process of trying to find right now would be a skid plate for this, just so it doesn't get too jacked up. What we're going to basically do is we're going to take all the plastics, the seat cover, the bars, all the stock parts here. Um, we're going to put those in a bin. We're going to put them away. This is my first brand new big bike that I've ever owned. Uh, so at one point, this will either go on the wall when it gets too old and I'm done riding it, and it'll just be in stock form. Or if I ever decide I want to sell it, uh, we can put it back to completely stock form. Uh, so that way it looks nice and brand new. Um, and we'll beat the hell out of the rest of the plastics and bodywork. We don't beat the hell out of the bikes, okay? It's just anyone who rides and rides properly knows if you squeeze the bike with your legs, you're going to wear some stuff out. Graphics, plastics, etc. And in fact, we've rode this a couple times. And this is scuffed up a little bit, but it's not anything terrible. Plus, to be really honest, I just like the look of the uh, of the gray. I've seen a couple bikes with it now, and I really like it. So I've been talking for way too long. Let's get down to wrenching here. We're going to start with the teardown. We'll get the stuff all off, and then we'll get to it. As I was filming that intro part, I kind of realized it was a little dark in this corner. So I now have the lights set up all around, so it should look a little bit better. Let's, uh, let's do a little crispy slow-mo montage here. I've got the front end stuff set out, so we're going to start on the front. Let's do a little crispy slow-mo montage of the bike in its stock form one last time. Time for some time lapses. Here we go. Okay, 
update here. We have uh, front fender on, front number plates on. Those were the easiest ones. Oh, I guess also the fork guard here. Those were the easiest ones. Uh, we did get the side panel or the right shroud on. Uh, that was a little more tricky because we're putting the radiator braces in here. Um, you do have to trim. Hold on, I got to <laughs> Woo! Okay, anyway. Uh, because we're putting the radiator braces in here, there is trimming that has to go on. Um, so I'm going to trim the other one before we get popping on the other side. Now the other thing is, is that with replacing the rear fender here, uh, apparently everything sits in this rear fender here. So it looks like batteries and relays and everything else. Uh, so I'm going to have to take all that off. That's kind of, uh, it's kind of annoying, but it is what it is. We're going to get it done. So I'm going to move the camera position here and we're going to get back to it on the other side. We're just going to start at the front with the fort guard, we'll work our way back. All right. So second fort guards on, we've got this side plastic on. Now one thing, I'm an idiot. I'm not the smartest guy. As you can see here, let's point this out here. Right here, there's these little metal grommets behind the screws. Uh, on the other side, I didn't really realize that that was a thing. And so I was finding washer. Oh boy, hold on. Let me turn so there's not lights. So I was finding washers um, to put behind the smaller washer. Hey, just, I'm an idiot. So I'm going to go back. I'm going to fix that right now. Uh, and then I think I'm going to take a quick break, which you guys won't see because let's face it, this video is all going to be one thing. And then I'm going to get to the ass end here. So we're going to get the shock off. We're going to get the rear fender off. We're going to get the rear wheel off. We're going to do all of that. So. So there we have it. Everything's installed. This thing looks 100% better. I'm going to move it out in the sun. We'll get some slow-mo shots, but oh man, it's great. It is great.